I want to introduce somebody who is an amazing person that I've met through Open Government Advocacy, who kind of highlights, um, Kathy talked in broader terms, brought up a lot of the journalistic efforts that we have in the greater field of transparency. But as everybody in this room knows, there are a myriad of fields that relate to the work that we do. And my friend Beth Sebian here journeyed down from Cleveland, Ohio, because although she has a day job that is not all about government transparency, let alone helping um, her home, Cuyahoga County, improve on all the open government steps and all the open data principles that it wants to enact. Uh, but that is what she gets to do in the evening. So I'm going to welcome Beth up right now. I am really excited to be here. Who else is? Yeah? All right. Uh, nine months ago, I found myself walking onto a stage like this at Cleveland State University. Um, and it was for an event called the Transparency Action Plan Summit, which was something I spent about three weeks organizing and had been inspired to, um, to, to get involved in following my, my time here last year at Transparency Camp. Um, there we go. When I walked up onto that stage, I looked out onto a crowd of about 100 people. Um, and they were there for the same reasons that I was, and they were there for the same reasons that you're all here today. And those reasons are that they cared about being a good citizen, and they saw that there were opportunities for us to do this kind of work better, for, for governments to be better, um, and for citizens to be, to be better, and for the two of those groups to work together to figure out how to do that. Um, I gave myself the task in, in setting up uh, in introducing people that day of explaining what open government is. And uh, as, as we're inclined to do with any profound ideas, I put it in a pie chart. Um, I will spare you the, the pie chart today uh, and distill it into two things that I think are fundamental to what, what this movement means. Uh, the first is about governments thinking differently about their role and how they engage citizens, um, thinking that the information that they accumulate and the work that they do is something that the public should have access to and that it actually is their obligation to provide to the public. And on the other side of things is the role of citizens, and I think it's, it's one that's equally important. Um, open government is also about citizens thinking that it is, it is their role to step up um, and take action. It is their role to walk into a door that an open government um, is holding open to them. And those two things work together to create a, a cultural shift um, that is underway um, and is moving forward because of events like the one we're at today. What was exciting to me about the event that we held was um, it was at first, when I was organizing, I thought it would be about open government, um, that we would be bringing together a bunch of people to talk about what it meant. Um, and by the time the weekend ended, what I learned was that the event itself was open government. Um, we were able to bring together citizens and elected officials and, pu and public officials within the administration of the governments that we were working in with in Cleveland um, and we workshopped issues that were important to our community. And that itself, I've, I learned, really embodied the, the spirit of what this open gover government movement is, is trying to achieve. I think it's also fundamental to what we're trying to do here today. Um, this is not about open government. This is open government. Um, I want to take a moment to recognize two people that are here that came from Cleveland here with me. The first is Jeff Schuler, who you'll hear from in a bit. He is a developer. He is awesome. Um, and he's been a, a great partner for me in the work that we've been doing up in Cleveland. Uh, the other is Jeff Mowry, who is the chief information officer in Cuyahoga County um, and embodies the kind of uh, leadership and um, engagement that, that I hope to see in, in more elected officials. Um, the event that we held brought those two types of personalities together, uh, and we did some pretty amazing things, which, which I'm very excited about. Um, 
this idea of, of this being open government in itself is, I think, worth pausing um, to appreciate and to celebrate. Because I think one thing Jeff and I are very aware of is that we have a lot of work to do. Um, and you know, a lot of this is about changing institutions and cultures, and uh, none of that happens easily. It's going to require some stamina and some creative thinking. But I have no doubt that, that it is it is possible and it is in our reach and we're going to get there by by coming together like we're coming together today. Um, so I would invite you all to appreciate over the next two days what exactly is happening in these rooms that you're in. Um, that it is this is about um, enacting open government, not talking about it. Um, and it's something that I'm very grateful to the Sunlight Foundation for taking a lead in. Um, and it's a reason I'm excited to be here. So I look forward to talking with a lot of you in the next couple of days. Thanks. <laughs>